The Earth's glaciers are melting faster than scientists had previously thought. In fact, five times faster than they were in the 1960s. In February, this huge iceberg broke away from Antarctica, the first to break away from that area in 50 years. At 1,270 square kilometres, it's about the same size as London. But there's a bigger problem in Antarctica. It could even trigger the collapse of the entire western section of the continent's ice shelf. Ice covers 10% of our planet. It's an important regulator of our climate. The Antarctic ice sheet is massive. It covers almost 14 million square kilometres. It's twice the size of Australia. Now new data has shown the flow rate of the massive Pine Island Glacier in the west of the continent has increased 12% between 2017 and 2020, with more and more of it collapsing into the sea. And right next to Pine Island is another glacier, Thwaites. It's even bigger. Thwaites has lost half a trillion tonnes of ice since the 1980s. That alone accounts for almost 4% of the rise in sea levels. Scientists are so worried about Thwaites, they call it the Doomsday Glacier. Thwaites and Pine Island are two of the most important pieces of ice in the world when it comes to sea level rise. To understand why, you need to understand that not all ice is created equal. An ice sheet forms through the accumulation of snow when annual snow fall exceeds the annual snow melt. Over thousands of years, the layers of snow build up, forming a flowing sheet of ice. Most of it over land, but some sliding out over water. Ice sheets are made of three parts. The grounded, slow-moving ice containing the vast bulk of the continent's ice that's sitting on the bedrock. Fast-flowing ice streams and glacial outlets act as a runoff, and then there's the ice shelf that floats over water. In the dark Antarctic winter, the ice shelf can extend for thousands of kilometres as the Southern Ocean freezes over, but each summer it retreats. That's a natural movement of ice around the South Pole. But Antarctica has one fatal flaw. Much of the continent lies below sea level. This is a thermal image of the Antarctic bedrock. The areas in red or orange are above sea level. The areas in blue are below it. If you look at a cross section, it's even more stark. Here's the Antarctic ice sheet. And here is the bedrock underneath. The ice is much thicker in the central and eastern parts, whereas the west has a thinner ice shelf and worse, the land is almost all below sea level. A collapse in the ice shelf won't cause a rise in sea level straight away, because most of it was already in the water. But the ice shelf acts as a buttress. Without it, the rest of the ice sheet will slip more quickly into the sea. That western ice sheet holds enough frozen water to raise sea levels by more than five metres. British researchers have mapped large sections of the seafloor under Thwaites and found deep sea channels they believe may be speeding up the process, melting the glacier from underneath. The obvious question is, is this global warming at play? The answer is not necessarily. The why is a huge puzzle for scientists right now. Maybe uh, warming has finally spread more around the Antarctic than it had been, but there is no consensus yet on why the Antarctic sea ice cover has taken these changes that it has. The movement of ice and carving of icebergs is part of the cycle of life on the frozen continent. Scientists are racing to figure out if this collapse is inevitable or if slowing global warming can halt the demise of what's become known as the Doomsday Glacier.